Hey everyone, it looks like a new trailer has dropped for Crash Team Racing Nitro Field, and this time we're taking another look at Electron Avenue. However, this is more of a focus on outfits and animation. Let's take a look at one of the more unique outfits, I would say. Right here. So we've got what looks like, it kind of honestly looks like a... Uh, Looks like Flash to me for what Crash is wearing here uh, with this more of this uh, sci-fi getup that everyone's wearing. You've got this, you know, lit up design across the shoes, uh, Crash's body here, his gloves. Uh, Coco, of course, has this also, uh, you know, as part of her getup, but she's got this more pink look to it. Um, Oh, let's rewind just a little bit here. So we've got a uh, better angle here. So you can see what rococo has got this helmet, all lit up light blue, cyan, uh, with a little bit of, you know, patches of pink um, all across. Uh, overall, I mean, Coco's Coco looks a lot like, honestly, Tracer to me for from Overwatch, uh, personally. There's a there's a little bit here that I'm gonna show that uh, definitely shows it off. Then we've got Cortex here. Uh, I don't know what to make out of this. Uh, you've got this, you know, very dark purple uh, look with the yellow accents. His N is all lit up, which is on the costume, of course, unless that's somehow piercing through and he's lit up his N on his head. Then uh, you've got his yellow gloves, classic yellow gloves, I should mention, because if you think about it, uh, CNK, he had red gloves. I'm wondering if that's actually a skin now that I think of it, if it's a CNK design too. That'd be interesting, but let's just focus on what we've got for now. Um, but overall, very different look for Cortex, more uh, sci-fi, just like everyone else. Uh, I think there's a Coco in the background here, actually, that doesn't have uh, the outfit on, so that's a little bit weird, but something I just noticed now. And then we've got Crash, uh, another look at him. You know, more of a, what I would say, more of a... Uh, uh, his Flash look kind of thing. He's got this mohawk thing, kind of actually more like Captain Marvel in a lot of ways too, uh, with the mohawk or uh, um, that or Yondu's uh, headpiece uh, from Guardians of the Galaxy. But uh, I think there's is that like a pizza? Thing? What I don't even know what this is. Looks, looks like pizza. Pizza time. That's a thing. But no, we get a really good look at these costumes. But the odd part is it's only Crash, Coco, and Cortex, which has been uh, common, I would say, for the majority of these uh, of these trailers. I'm wondering if there's just more of a focus right now on them. Um, I would love to see if Tiny or Dingo Dial get Electron Avenue skins. Um, it's just a little bit, a little bit odd. But as we progress through the trailer. There's another icon that flashed by. That's weird. Maybe it's to represent certain characters? I don't know what Crash would be pizza, though. That's a little bit of an odd choice. All right, so this is probably the more interesting part of the trailer here. Yeah, it's Crash whizzing by as if he's, again, the Flash, as he's, he just kind of whips by. But this is the victory pose uh, animation. In fact, this is the first time we really get to see um, the victory poses. I did upload the CTR victory pose uh, compilation video with 15 different poses. Uh, it looks like I'm going to have a harder time if I want to recreate this video as of today. I didn't expect this to happen, but it looks like you're going to be able to customize your victory pose, much like Overwatch, which I expected a lot of... In uh, inspiration from Overwatch. I mean, this flat out looks like Scream's Tracer to me with the way that Coco's acting here. I think it's awesome. She's the, probably the, I mean, honestly, she has the best victory pose out of all three of them. Let's, uh, hands down. Um, but let's go through this real quick. So there's Crash. We also get to see some losing animations. Crash is losing animation. Engine has a very similar uh, defeat pose, uh, which I don't know if that's customizable too. I wouldn't, wouldn't mind, you know, having a few defeat poses uh as a as an option too to customize but uh he doesn't have his uh his rocket on fire or lit up and you know reacting to his anger coco we have to really slow down uh so we've got uh her on her cell phone uh something happens she starts doing this jog in pit in, in place uh just absolutely energetic and i i don't know it's something to do with these costumes man um, I swear they come with a unique podium animation. So 
I'm guessing that the animations are tied to the costume, which to me seems a little bit disappointing. Um, I would love to be able to take these podium animations, unless I'm misreading it, because, you know, this is just how they worded it in the trailer. And to me, it says that these, you know, these costumes are going to cause these animations to happen. So Crash is whizzing by and stopping like he's Roadrunner, um, that's going to be more of a Electron Avenue uh, outfit uh, exclusive. Then you've got, you know, the superhero landing for Co Cortex with his posing. Um, I don't know why he has a superhero landing, but, you know. Um, yeah, this this all looks like it's just tied to the costumes, but I'm probably not alone in saying that I would love to see this working with their normal costumes or the retro outfits. Um, I don't know. Uh, it looks like they're losing animations are pretty close to the original cortex a lot more animated though than just his normal uh, sound effect that goes off it's the most annoying thing in the world if, especially if you watch that old uh victory animation pose every other pose is cortex losing and it's just him crying um that's pretty much my thoughts on the you know electron skins um it's interesting that Coco's front and center. I think she has the best outfit, so it's very fitting. This is actually uh, the Gem Valley from, uh, it's the second second area you get to enter um, in the adventure mode. If you do multiplayer or if you do cups, this is where you're going to end up um, when it comes to the, uh, the victory podium. The podium itself is pretty much going to be uh, all centered around Gemstone Valley, and it's a very different look than uh, what was originally there. You actually, actually have actual gemstones and crystals. Um, there's like a gem right up here. It's kind of uh, taking itself quite literally. Even the podiums are lined with purple gems all across. That's really cool. I, I want to see what the other... Uh, the other looks are and if there is a cnk mode i'd love to see if they can make some unique ones or even if it i would love if they could just bring back uh velo's uh coliseum as well that would be an awesome uh additional uh winning circle but overall i think what we have here is pretty awesome to begin with um i'd love to see how they touch up all these because they all kind of felt the same um, in CTR, so I'm glad that they're taking their extra time to kind of bring out and give each podium even its own character, which is something very unique. And of course, this is the first time we got to see a podium, so that's why we're kind of reacting to that. But yeah, definitely let me know what your thoughts are down below. Um, are you going to pre order the game? Um, are you going to be picking up the uh, Oxide Edition? Definitely let me know down below what your thoughts are. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you want more content on CTR Nitrofueled. And give me a like too. That way we can get more people on board and uh, aware of more CTR Nitrofueled content. As well as more content to come. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.